in this mod review, we're taking a look at the Peterbilt Custom 379389 for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Peterbilt Custom 379389 for American Truck Simulator and this is by Viper2. Now I will let you know that this truck was the winner of last year's best truck mod. So it's now revisited as the custom, Peterbilt Custom. So let's check about what let's check out check about check about okay let's check out what it has to offer now well first of all having a look at the cabins now there is a ton of cabins to choose from and that's what we like to see options 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 uh, you got your day cab with your there's your day cab there uh, there is the is another day cab day cab ultra cab I wonder what the difference is might be just more headroom uh, then there's a normal day cab. You've got your 72 inch sleeper, 63 inch. Uh, there's the flat top 63 inch and there's a 36 inch. Then we move over to the actual chassis. There's a ton of chassis to choose from. We got 6x4, 6x4 long, long and lowered. We got lowered, we got short. We've got uh, short lowered, 8x4, 8x4 long, 8x4 long lowered lowered there's a uh, steer then there's steer long and then there is it's 8 by 4 steer long lowered and then there's 8 by 4 steer lowered wow there's a fair few there to choose so plenty to keep you amused for a long time to come now i'm going to choose the 6 by 4 long and then we'll go over to the engines there is a ton of engines in this guys uh it's I mean, you can easily see why this was the winner of last year's best truck mod. It's got so many options, so many things to customize. You can never get bored of this truck. So uh, we've got Detroit Diesel 60 Series. Uh, we've also got the Cat C15s. We've got um, Cummins ISX 15 N14s. There is a Packard MX-13, MX-15. What else have we got here? C-15. Uh, there's the MX-13. We said that. Uh, so look, there's plenty of engines, guys, to choose from there. Yeah, see more Cummins N-14s. You know, it goes all the way up to 610... No, what was it? 720 horsepower there. 720 tuned and chipped and tuned. Wow, that, that's one hell of a beast. No, hang on, I saw one there. 815 Detroit Diesel 60 Series. Wow, 815 chipped the chipped and tuned there. Wow, that is one hell of an engine. All right, we're going to start with this engine, and we'll come back later, and we'll have a listen to those other engine sounds. Now, transmission, let's have a look there. We've got 9-speed, 6-speed, 10-speed, 13-speed, 18-speed, and then we've got the retarders in there as well. So I'm going to go uh, my favorite, the Eaton Fuller 18 speed with retarder. And then we go to the interior. Now, again, tons of interiors. There's heaps to choose from. Uh, I notice one thing though. Uh, when you're actually clicking on the new dash and the old dash, dunk, it sort of jumps. I don't know why it would do that wonder if that's just because it changes from lowered to standard to whatever I don't know okay uh, but anyway there's we'll flip through and have a look at the old dashes here basically it's old dash uh, same as the old dash and the new dash are the same so rather than having it jumping around we can switch it like that so as you can see yeah look the old dash and new dash there you go there's the difference uh, so plenty to choose from there guys now paint jobs what truck wouldn't be complete without a really cool paint job on it so you've got a choice of heaps of things to choose from there's a custom color there you got your blacks your blues your aquamarines your greens your whites 
There's your Peterbilt orange. I love that on Peterbilts. And your custom metallic color. There we go. There's the first one. There's the second one. And, of course, there's the third one. Working perfectly, as you'd expect. Uh, I'm going to my favorite, which is the Peterbilt. Peterbilt orange. Now, accessories. Oh, my goodness. Where to start? There is a ton of accessories with this. Um, there's your oversized sticker. Well, not sticker, but, you know, post, not poster. You know, the thing that goes over the banner. Banner that goes on the front. There we go. Couldn't think of what it was. Uh, then we've got bull bars. There is the... Uh, this is the original bull bar for this. This is where we first saw this bull bar on this truck. And you can go and add in a whole ton of lights, accessories, uh, bumper guides, and there's your lights there. So there's heaps of stuff you can add to it, which is really cool. Uh, I'm just going to leave it normal so we can see the rest of it. Uh, this is the, it says lower grill guard, so there's the, the bumper there. Heaps that you can choose from. And... Uh, there's painted versions, there's there's dots, dots, more dots and anchor points that you can point a stick at. There's that one there, that's like really old, old sort of 70s kind of bumper that is. And there is a good old Aussie type, Aussie style bull bar. Uh, I'd love to choose that, but I'm not going to choose that today. I'm going to go for, let's see, not that big clunky bit of metal stuck on the front. I'm actually going to choose, where is it, that one. I'm going to choose that one there. Now, I uh, don't have the time at the moment, but you can go through and chuck on heaps and heaps of dots all over the place. Go crazy. Literally can. Now, the grill. This is what I think, you know, makes a truck look absolutely awesome. If that grill looks cool, then, you know, the rest of the truck looks cool as well. That there is my favorite. Seven bars black mesh. And there's a few other ones there as well. The louvers. Uh, you might want to watch out though. When you pull up to a... When you park the truck, somebody might get confused and post their mail inside that there with the slats. So uh, you might end up coming back from a, a good hearty dinner and find that there's mail in your slot there. So you might have to watch out for that. Um, then we go off to these... Uh, not really, guys. I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> there's that one there, which is the... Uh, uh, sort of it's a cross between the you know slats one the horizontal bars and the vertical bars there so there we go i'm going to go back to my black mesh one i like that now uh blinker lights you've got a few there's a, that's where they are down the bottom i tried to zoom in that's as far as we can go and there's a fair few to choose from here so i love how it allows you to customize the truck in so many different ways I really do like that now just over here there is a guard you can go and put the guard on the front there stone guard or whatever it is fender guard uh, there's your flags you can go and add flags on the side uh, just remember there's another flag slot over there as well so if you add go and change those you'll you can do it do what you do to one side you do to the other uh, then we have there is the step. I don't know why the step is there. I think it's just oh, It's just in that position. That's all so you can choose a whole heap of different steps that you'd like uh, I'm going to go for that one there That one there that that's a more newer addition that one to this truck Right, so just trying to watch all these dots here because it does start going all over the place front lights right you can go 351 lights on the front there painted 351 there's all painted there is your 359 single square there is uh, 359 double 359 style so look there's heaps and heaps and heaps of headlights there's a more modern style 389 and I wonder no. See, there was one that used to be that, that was pointing up like that. I don't know where that's gone. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try those today. The old 379 style. There we go. Uh, that is a light bar. And that light bar allows you to put on a whole heap of different lights if you want. You can go different colors. 
And there you go. I'm just going to use that one there. That's already pre-done. So that makes it a bit easier. 359 let the uh, eyelid, eyelids. Eyelids, is that what they call them? On the top there. Then the grill. You can have on the grill, you can have uh, haul and ass with some naked lady on the front there. Peterbilt. Peterbilt. And Viper 2. Uh, we're going to put Viper 2 on there. Why not? Now, uh, the front, that is the guard on the front there. Now, there's several different kinds of guards you can add in here. Depends on how custom you want to go. There's even this hard-working sort of uh, guard on the front there as well, but doesn't really match with this other stuff. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put on that there. Let's try that, see how that goes. Front mirror. Add on some front mirrors if you want. Now, there is a dot on the other side as well, which also allows you to add on another front mirror. Uh, then we have on the front here is a hood ornament. So there's the flying goddess, the horns, small horns, and the duck. Uh, I am going to go the small horns today. The uh, wind deflector... On the front there, there's several different kinds, and you even get the side parts there as well. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, let's go, I'm going to go with that one there. It's hard choice, that is hard choice. Uh, the logo, the Peterbilt logo on the side, as you can see there. There's different kinds that you can choose. I like that one. I'm going to stick with that. And then we go to rivets. No rivets, chrome rivets. Or painted rivets. Uh, I'm going to go with chrome rivets. Why not? Now that is uh, hood headline. What's this? Uh, hood trim. Oh, there we go. That's right. Uh, that is the actual hood trim there. So you can go and add on. You know, if you want it to fold or whatever. See how it folds in the middle? I'm going to leave it on that. Uh, hood trim and hood uh, handles. You can't really see the handles, can you? So there's the handles there, and there, there they are again, you can see them, there's no handles. The actual horns cover the handles, so that's a bit of a shame. The driver's plate, co-driver's plate, and then we have dash. I'm not sure what that is, I think that's something that we have a look at on the inside. Uh, dashboard sets. Interesting. Oops. Hang on, I want to go to that there. That's yes, that's fine. And click on that. Yep. Uh, let's go up. Now, that's the sun visor. There's plenty to choose from here. I like how it gives you the option of no sun visor and just anchor points. That's, that's a very good idea, that one. Uh, a couple of different options here to choose from. And where is the... There's, that's the one I like visor chrome and there's a whole heap of other kinds you can add as well and you can add lights on there so if you want to add a couple of lights on here you can there we go um oh it just looks funny like that doesn't it let's put those on there there we go that's just quickly done then what else do we have that is the oh there's this thing that dangles down here i'm not a big fan of those but we'll uh i'll actually i'll put them in for now and leave them i might change my line my mind there's the backlight if you want to add in a light uh in the cabin while you're driving uh lights on the roof and you can go and change any of these if you want and there's several different kinds to choose from then we have uh, the air conditioner on the top, or you can add a beacon light. And uh, what else do we have? We have a light bar here. Now, I like this how it's got all the different anchor points that you can add in there. Now, there's plenty of things to add on the roof. And I'm going to just chuck on a couple of horns on there. There we go. Does that work? Oh yeah, that works. That sits nicely. Look at that. Uh, what else do we have up the back here? That's the light bar. Oh, and then there was that Peterbilt sign as well that you can add on there. So, if you want to add that. Antenna. 
Now the antenna is a little bit hard to see. You can see one there, one there, uh, and there's them going forward as well. So uh, again, to just leave them going straight up. The exhaust. So your stacks. You got big horns, bull horns. So here's your bull horns back. There's heaps of different options here for you to choose from. Uh, I tend to like the biggest, longest horns, the tallest horns that are facing back or something like that. I, I don't know why, I just like the, the horns. The uh, stacks to look as big as possible, they're the ones that I like there. Those ones, they're pretty cool. And there's some smaller ones. There you go. And where was the ones? There they are. There we are. They're the ones I like. I reckon they're so cool. Uh, now, over to the back there, there's the aero kit. Then we have spoilers. You can go and put a spoiler on the back here if you want. Now, bear in mind the day cab, you won't be able to put a spoiler on. Um, I'm going to put that one on today. Why not? The uh, carrier air conditioner. There's the frame. You can paint the frame if you want. Red, uh, base color, or you can go frame custom paint. I'm just going to leave it black. And then we have tanks. Your fuel tanks, there's heaps of different styles of fuel tanks that you can uh, have. See that one there's got your add blue in there. There's your standard tank. Let's, uh, let's put that one there with your add blue. Uh, that was the frame, that's the step. Now, uh, what's that there? That is the light bar, the air filter on the side there. Different uh, kinds, you've got chrome, you've got, you know, they've all got the options to add lights on or they've already got the lights on there already. I'm going to do the chrome one with the lights there already. On the side there is the window trim. There's a few different window trims you can add. Uh, I'm going to leave it on. No, actually, I'm going to take it off today. Main mirrors. Now, I think one of the things you have to do is do the main mirrors before you do the antenna. Because otherwise you lose the antenna on there. Uh, just going to leave it on that one there. And, of course, you can go and add on some accessory slots on the uh, lights. Add some lights. See, it's not silly. It's not going to let you add a horn on there or something like that that's not meant to fit, which is good. Now, where is those antenna? I think that's them there. There we go. That's the steps. Now, for the... That was the light bar. That was the front end, yes. Uh, tires. You've got American style tires, US style style tire. So there's a few different styles there. And for your rims, you've got a US wheel. Your standard rims, uh, all your standard rims in there. And there's some Alcoa rims as well for you to choose from. Some pretty good ones. I'm going to use the big US wheels today. And then the nuts will go US wheel nuts. The hub, US wheel hub, and just the cover I'll put on. No, that won't, look, that won't suit. Can we have? No, no cover's meant to go with that. Okay, that's fine. Just checking that is the frame. Now, uh, that there is the fifth wheel. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, See if I can spin it round a bit better. Because of the long frame, it makes it a bit harder to see. There you go, the fifth wheel black. And there's your uh, checker plate or your hash plate or whatever you want to call it. Decking plate. Deck plate. I particularly like the that one there is what I like. Now, one thing that I did see on the top there is an accessory slot you can add a cover on there so if you want cover paint or no cover at all so you don't have to I'm gonna take it off but it is an option there for you if you like now over to the fenders 
spinning it around so we can see it properly. Now, there's a few different fenders you can choose here. Uh, there's your hard working fender there. Custom fenders. I actually like those ones. Uh, there you go. They're pretty custom. Look at those. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Chrome. There you go. Wow. There's heaps to choose from. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to stick with those ones. A little bit plain, but, you know, I don't like it to be too dressy. I like it looking nice. You know, not too dressy. Uh, then we go to the back here, and you have the... Uh, that's a custom style brake lights. Do they work? Yep, they work. Uh, then you can go and add your own for the custom ones. There's painted. There's your flaps. And there's another one there as well. More old school. And there you go again. You can add your own lights. Now, uh, you can also add on there your... Uh, flaps as well. I actually like this. Past side suicide. <laughs> uh, here in Australia, it's the opposite. But anyway, past side suicide. Yeah, going down the inside there. Yeah, crazy. Um, let's go to... I'm going to choose those ones for today. Deck plate. Uh, yeah, that was the deck plate there. You can actually choose the deck plate to go all the way along or whatever you'd like there that's the one that I like I think that sort of matches now it all depends on your actual truck as well, what you've already pre-selected you know before now there's a step that's the step on the side there there's a few different steps and things that you can choose going to just stick to just a normal one today Air, the airlines in a little box or you can have them so that they're standing upright or back forward don't know why you I think with the long one you'd have them there that's that's why um, let's just put them in a little box now headache rack look there's several different kinds of headache racks that you can have in here and oh there you go there's uh, where was it did I miss it? I think I missed it. There was one there, a headache rack that had the actual uh, beacon lights. There we go. Beacon lights on it as well. That's pretty cool. Hey. Um, we'll take that out. I'm not going to use that for today. Then you can have a rear window cover. So you can have louvers or just chrome trim or just the solid backing there. I'm going to have the chrome trim. The back you can have a whole heaps of lights going along here any kind of lights you want you can go nuts so uh, just gonna take them out that's the window trim up the front that's the main mirrors that is the exhaust uh, that there is the tank straps you can add on extra tank straps there and then we have that's the frame that's the steps right uh, for those rims on the back, let's see what we can choose. US tire, US rim, US wheel disc, um, actually what was it originally on? It was on those. Uh, I, yeah, okay. Yep, there we go, that's it. I'm going to leave it on that. Um, but there is a few different options that you can choose which is uh, pretty cool so you can go through and choose all the Alcoa rims or any of the standard ones but I'm just gonna leave it on that one right now that was the frame that's the tank accessories that's the headache rack uh, there's the tank again um there we go i think that's pretty much it guys let's go to the oh and then there's a side mirror on that side you can add that in there main mirrors and window trim if you want to have the window trim or not whichever you want uh let's go to the inside now there's plenty on the inside here just having a quick look around 
there's the back you can spin right around in the back there and see the front but you can see how high you know how well detailed it is it really is very nice uh, just gonna flick back and there we go now over here is the uh, window trim there's window trim main mirrors and you can add on your accessory over there there is the uh, air cleaner now this accessory dot that I missed that before and you can add on air pipes there you go so if you want to add stacks on there not stacks snorkels you can do so and you can do it on that side as well snorkels sorry guys I did miss that there you go there's snorkels and then we move over here is the driver's plate that is the mirror you can see that you can add the mirrors on there uh, dash panel so you can go and change your dash to any color that you want there's like heaps of different choices there um, I am just going to stick it on black and leave it on black for now the gauges you can go and change the gauges to whatever you want heaps of different choices and I'm just gonna leave it on chrome then you can go the actual the gauge itself so you can have blue orange or standard uh, I actually like the blue gauges I think they look pretty cool now that is the dots on the front there if you want to go and add them change them you can then we have steering wheel different kinds of steering wheels that you can choose so there's all the ones that come with it and plus you get all your uh, SCI steering wheels as well so as you can see there's plenty to choose from so you can get full on cowboy there with your guns uh, but I think I'm going to go with one of the ones that came with it um, yeah let's put that one on shall we I reckon it looks cool uh, yeah, there's the lower grill guard. I don't think I can go down any lower than that. Uh, your stick, you can go, there's your standard stick and there's your twin stick. I'm just going to leave it on standard. And then we have the dash as well. I mean, you can change the dash in to be, to be heaps of different colors here. There's plenty to choose from. Um, tan, you know, make it tan or white. I don't know why you choose white dash, but anyway, tan looks good. That's your mirror. There's your hood trim, um, your bug shield, and your hood ornament. Uh, that is the upper trim. So there's the trim for the top. So you can change that to be tan or whatever, whatever color you want. There's plenty to choose from: black, blue, you name it. I'm just going to leave it standard and then over there's the co-driver's plate there's some dash dots and if you have the uh, accessory pack installed the mod for that you can you can add that in there and then we have the air cleaners that was the uh, lower dash and then we have the window trim you can see the window trim here uh, how much it's going to obstruct your, your view so you know it depends on how much you want to what you if you want to have it there or not side mirror that works nicely and then we have the main mirrors right well I think that is pretty much it so let's go and confirm this truck there we go look at that that's awesome uh, let's do a trade-in okay thank you very much and let's see let's see how it goes let's see what it, yeah it, it, let's see how it loads in that seems all right I mean it's just the world loading at the moment that looks weird doesn't it that Peterbilt thing there rippled chrome or something maybe that's how it's meant to be Man, those those stacks and air cleaners look great, don't they? That looks that looks pretty damn good. Uh, 
I think the metallic paint might have been better in that orange. Um, so that might be something we might need to think of for next time. All right, let's jump on the outside and let's start her up and see how she sounds. There we go. That's the Detroit Diesel 60 Series. All right, put the lights on. Oh, looks nice. Very nice. Uh, now, the uh, what else have we got? Wipers. Wipers are working, yes. Uh, flashes. Flashes are working. And there is... Oh, I didn't put any brake lights. I thought they were lights. Maybe they're not. And... No. No, that was me. I didn't configure lights on the back there. No problem. That's no big deal. AI doesn't care. Um, let's see. Uh, what else we got? Horn. And air horn. There you go. Uh, let's uh, back it up now. Oh, wipers are still going. Better change those. And let's push display. Cross your fingers. Ah. Oh. Thank goodness. It does change the display on the dash there, you can see. There you go. Very cool that it's not crashing anyway. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go have a listen to the actual engines. Wow, that is loud. That is really loud. You can tell the long chassis. Oh, man. <laughs> really long. All right, so let's jump outside again and listen to the engine. Now, let's go grab some other engines. We'll try some other engines now. Uh, Detroit Diesel, the Cat C15. And we'll try that. And let's go see what else we've got in here. Uh, we'll check the Detroit, the Packer. And... There you go, that's the Packer. And what else have we got? C15 Detroit Diesel Packer. Cummins. Start that up. That engine's a lot quieter, isn't it? Uh, let's see, we now have the N14. And see how that starts. And what else do we have? There's the Cummins the Packer, Cummins, Cat, N14, Cat, Cummins, I think we've pretty, uh, 3406, that's pretty cool. I like that sound. And what else have we got? Signature, chipped and tuned. C15. There's the 3406. I'm just going to try that one, see if it's any different. There we go, it is.
And what else have we got in here? Uh, there's another 3406. And I think that is, yep, that is pretty much it. All right, let's jump out. There we go. Wow. Oh, that is loud, isn't it? Inside is very loud. Alright, let's see if we can turn this crate around. So, so far, first of all, you can really tell that this is a longer chassis. Uh, it's that little bit sort of harder to, uh, to back up, but that's fine. It's no big deal. It's just something you need to be aware of while driving it with this chassis, so... That you need that little bit extra room to turn. Look at this dash. I like this dash. I think that is great. Guys, if you've not tried this before, this mod, I think it really, you should give it a go because it, it's definitely worth it. Alright, here we go for the banana break. There you go, there's the banana break. Um, it drives well. It, it's exactly the same. If um, the, the actual truck itself is really good. It looks good, it sounds good, it drives well. Um, it's just an all-round awesome truck. Uh, it's one of those trucks where once it's won, you know, like the best truck mod for 2016, you think, where can you actually go with this mod? Well, that's what uh, Viper 2 has actually done. He's gone that little bit further and, you know, customized it, made it a lot better. So, good job, mate. But, um, guys, is it worthy of the weekly drive? Well, that's not up to me. That's up to you. If you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. Punch that like button in the ass. And uh, the winner of the weekly drive will be decided by the one with the most votes. So make sure you get in there and vote, guys. Well, that is pretty much it for me today, guys. Look, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cine Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cine Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.